fifth grade, chapter five, <coughs> lesson eight. Decimal operations. Unlock the problem. Carson spent fifteen dollars and ninety-nine cents for two books and three pence. The books cost four dollars and ninety-five cents each, and sales tax is one dollar and twenty-two cents. Carson also used a coupon for fifty cents off his purchase. If each pen had the same cost, how much did it each pen cost? So first of all, we need to figure out what we need to what we need to find. So we need to find the cost of each pen. What information do I need to use? So we know that the total was. We know that one book cost. $4.95. Tax was. $1.22. And then the coupon was. 50 cents off. So how will I use this information? So. Okay. So first of all, to set it up, they set up a flow chart, and they said the cost of three pins plus the cost of two books, which the cost of each book was four dollars and ninety-five cents. The amount of tax one dollar cents minus the amount of the coupon, which was fifty cents. So the total spent equals. $15.99. So now we're going to do the inverse operation of that or work backwards. So we started with $15.99 and then we added 50 cents for the coupon. Then we subtracted $1.22 for the tax and then we subtracted $9.90 for the cost of the books. So we show our work over here. We took $15.99 plus 50 cents and got 16.49 and we subtracted the tax of a dollar 22 and got 15.27 and then we subtracted the cost of the two books which was nine dollars and 90 cents and then we got the cost of all three pins being five dollars and 37 cents now once we take that we need to know the value of each pin so we had to take five dollars and 37 cents divided by three and then we worked out that and we took um, three went into five once. Three times one is three. Minus three, five minus three is two. We brought down our three. Three went into 23 seven times. Seven times three was 21. 23 minus 21 was two. We brought down our seven. Three went into 27 nine times. And nine times three was 27. So 27 minus 27 is zero. So we got each pen to be $1.79 because we took $5.37 divided by 3. Try another problem. Last week, Vivian spent a total of $20. She spent $9.95 for tickets to the school fair, $5.95 for food, and the rest for two rings that were on sale at the school fair. If each ring had the same cost, how much did each ring cost? So what do I need to find? The price, the price for each ring. What information do I need to use? The total was? $20. Tickets were? $9.95. And food was? $5.95. So how will we use the information? We will draw a diagram to find the cost of each ring. Okay. So then we did the tickets cost? $9.95. Food cost? Cost of the ring? <laughs> we don't know. So that's just a question mark. Equals the total of $20. Then we will do an inverse operation and work backwards. So we know that the total was $20 minus the tickets, which cost $9.95. Minus the food that costs five dollars and ninety-five cents, which ends up after we work it out over here to the side in yellow, we got twenty dollars minus nine ninety-five got us ten dollars and five cents minus five dollars and ninety-five cents got us four dollars and ten cents. So the cost of the two rings was four dollars and ten cents. So then we need to know the price of each ring. So over here to the left, we're going to have to do a division problem. We put the cost of $4.10 or to the right in yellow, 
four dollars and ten cents divided by two, and then that got us two went into four twice, and two times two is four. Four minus four is zero. We brought down our one. Two does not go into one, so we put a zero. Zero times two is zero. One minus zero is one. We brought down our zero. Two into ten was five, and then five times two is ten, and ten minus ten is zero. So that got us a cost for each ring being two dollars and five cents, and then so the cost of each ring was two dollars and five cents. Sharon showed Hector spent thirty six dollars and seventy five cents for two DVDs with the same cost. The sales tax was two dollars and fifteen cents. Hector also used a coupon for one dollar off his purchase. How much did each DVD cost? First, make a flowchart to show the information and show how you would work backwards. So we said first of all that the cost of the two DVDs we weren't sure of the price for those yet, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Plus the tax was two dollars and fifteen cents, and the coupon was. $1. And so we would subtract it, and then we would get the total of $36.75. Then, to work backwards, we would start with the total of $36.75 plus the coupon of, and then we did the tax of $2.15. And basically, what we did was we did an inverse operation. So if it said to add, we subtract it. If it said to subtract, Add it. So then we found over here to the side in yellow, we worked $36.75 plus a dollar, got us $37.75, and then we subtracted our tax of $2.15 and got $35.60 for the cost of the two DVDs. But they wanted each DVD by itself to know how much that cost. So then we took the cost of our two DVDs that cost $35.60 and divided it by two over here to the right in yellow. So we said that two went into three one time. One times two is two. Three minus two is one. We brought down our five. Two went into 15. Seven times. Seven times two is 14, 15 minus 14 is one. 1. We brought down our 6. 2 into 16 went 8, eight times. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. We brought down our other 0, and 2 could not go into 0, so we put a 0. 0 times 2 is 0, so 0 minus 0 is 0. So the total cost for one DVD was $17.80. What if Hector spent $40.15 for the DVDs? The sales tax was $2.55 and he didn't have a coupon. How much did each DVD cost? So what would Hector, what do we underline guys? He spent $40.15. Sales tax was $2.55. He didn't have a coupon. How much would each DVD cost? So what are we going to start with guys? To start working our problem. $40. Okay, so forty dollars and fifteen cents. And then am I going to add or subtract my sales tax? Subtract. subtract because the sales tax is in the total, right? And we want to know what each DVD costs before sales tax. So we're going to subtract. So two dollars and fifty-five cents. I bring my decimal straight down. Five minus five is zero. zero. My one becomes an 11. My zero becomes a nine. nine. And then would we have had to have borrowed in the beginning anyways? Yeah. Yes, so this four becomes a three. three. 11 minus five is seven. six. Nine minus two is seven. And then bring down my three. Now, that's what the two DVDs cost. What are we going to do now? Divide up. Uh, divide by two. So, 3760 divided by two. 
I bring my decimal straight, straight up. up. Two goes into three Four. once. Two minus or two times one is two. Three minus two is one. Four. Bring down my seven. seven. Two into seventeen is eight. Eight. Eight times two is sixteen. Seventeen minus sixteen is Four. one. Bring down my two into sixteen. Eight. Eight. Eight times two is sixteen. 16 minus 16 is zero. And then I bring down my zero. Can two go into zero? No. Yeah. Nope. So zero. And then minus zero is nothing left over. So each DVD costs $18.80. Sophia spent $7.30 for school supplies. She spent $3 for a notebook and $1.25 for a pen. She also bought three large erasers. If each eraser had the same cost, how much did she spend? So what do we need to underline here, guys? Okay. So sit, 370 Then her notebook was $3. Her pen was $1.75. And then she bought three large erasers. If each eraser had the same cost, how much did she spend for each eraser? So what are we going to start with, guys? Seven dollars and thirty cents. And then am I going to add or subtract? Subtract because the seven thirty was our total, right? So minus three dollars. Bring down my decimal. Zero minus zero is zero. Three minus zero is three. Seven minus three is four. So now we have four dollars and thirty cents. Now what am I going to do with the one seventy five? Subtract that. Subtract that as well. So one seventy five. So I'll bring down my decimal. My zero becomes a ten. My three becomes a two. But can I do that? No. Nope. So this becomes a twelve, and this becomes a three. Three. Ten minus five is twelve. Minus seven is five. Three minus one is so now I have $2.55 for all three erasers, but they want to know how much each eraser costs, right? So, so now I'm going to take $2.55 divided by 3. Bring my decimal straight up. Can 3 go into 2? No. no. So I put a 0. 3 into 25? Yes. Okay, how many times? 8. 8 times 3 is? 24. 25 minus 24 is 1. Bring down my 5. 3 into 15 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Do I have anything left over? No. So each eraser costs 80 cents. 85 cents. 85 cents.